Well, if the pandemic is keeping you from heading to your local watering hole, an Edmonton company has an alternative. As Amanda Anderson shows us, the pub in this case can actually come to you. For 19 years, Brad Dick, the owner of Bounceroo Party Rentals, has been setting up things like bouncy castles in people's backyards. But this inflatable isn't for kids. In just a few minutes, it inflates to reveal an old country-style pub. This is one of our smaller backyard-sized inflatable pubs. Um, it's a great alternative to maybe a tent or something for your event to kind of give it maybe an old-world charm or kind of an English pub feel. Inside, there's a faux fireplace to help set the mood. This is kind of cozy. You've got the, the fireplace and the mantle and, and the windows. Um, set up a few tables in there. Maybe a great place to, to serve your drinks. Dick offers three styles of inflatable pubs. This one, the perfect size for a backyard. The other two are roughly twice the size. He says they're gaining popularity thanks to the pandemic. People are, are doing more at home events, definitely, yes. Yeah, we actually had a family earlier in the season who had a, a trip planned to Ireland and because of COVID weren't able to go. So we were able to bring a little bit of that kind of old Irish pub right into their backyard. We could have a bouncy castle. You could have anything else but a pub. You can't be a pub. Jackie Scheuer rented this pub for a family birthday party. And we're from England and we miss home. So what better way to have than have a pub? She says it looks just like the pubs back home in the UK. We've even got the horses in the background. We've got everything. We, all we need now is a river running through. So, yeah, and the canal boats going up and down. <laughs> that would be great. They eventually added flowers around the entrance and chairs next to the fireplace to make it look homey. What is your family back home going to say when they see this? <laughs> I really don't know, to be honest with you. <laughs> I think they're going to think it's pretty cool. Amanda Anderson, CTV News, Edmonton.